I wanted to start tonight, I, we just had a film that we presented about uh, Dr. Ben Carson. And uh, it was so amazing because I tell you, somebody who talks openly about the subjects that are really affecting our country today is really cool. And I just want to touch briefly on a couple of things he was talking about. He was talking about health care. That's not my topic tonight, but it's very appropriate that he was talking about it because I stand before you tonight as true witness to what a great and incredible health care system that we have. Two months ago, I was out door knocking and I literally passed out on the street. I couldn't catch my breath. Something was wrong. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I spent five days in Troy Beaumont Hospital having myself checked out to find out what's going on. I said, well, Ken, you've got, you've got an artery blockage here. I said, you're kidding me. I said, no, it's not a major artery, but you've got a blockage. We're going to take care of this. I was in an operating room for 25 minutes. These guys stuck a tube up my arm, and this thing I could see on the screen was going right into my heart, putting this, and I was awake the whole time, and we're carrying on a banter of a conversation. I said, this is incredible. I said, this is like changing a tire for you guys. Oh yeah, we, we do this kind of stuff often. And he says, you know, in the next few years, Ken, and he says, we won't have to do any kind of open heart surgery. Everything's going to be done like, like through this without massive intervention and, and, and breaking up somebody's chest and so forth. I said, this is absolutely incredible. Within a week, I had no weight restrictions whatsoever in terms of what I could lift, what I could do, where I could walk. Ladies and gentlemen, two months ago, I couldn't walk up those steps halfway without stopping and catching my breath. Today, I could scamper up those steps. When you hear people talk about the high cost of medicine in this country today and how much we spend, you know what they're not thinking about? Research and development. Do you know that the top five research hospitals in the United States of America have had more medical breakthroughs than all other industrialized countries in the world combined? five hospitals. We are the incubator to the world of all the research, all the development, everything that's happening, all the medical wonders. And I'm standing here tonight as a testimony to tell you, Barack Obama, keep your damn hands off this healthcare system.